Hey guys, uh, this is Normal for Technic, and in this video, we'll see how to convert a dynamic disk into a basic disk. So, basic disk is what we use uh, normally with Windows, but you can, uh, you can, although you can extend uh, or create partitions and uh, format them, there are certain limitations with basic disk, uh, like you cannot create a span, stripped, or um, read three volumes um, for that you need the dynamic disk and uh, if you have the dynamic disk you have more features like you can create a uh, stripped volume or a spanned volume etc using your partition manager so that option uh, is available only to the dynamic disk but now what if you want to convert a dynamic disk into a basic disk the process Microsoft uh, tells us is that you have to back up your data in the dynamic disk then um, delete all the volumes convert it into the basic disk uh, using the partition manager and then uh, come again uh, reloc I mean recreate the volumes and then back up uh, take the backup data and copy to the basic disk so this is what uh, Microsoft suggests uh, to convert dynamic disk into basic disk but this process may not be possible all the time because you may not have access to dynamic disk because sometimes the dynamic disk might show as invalid in your uh, Windows uh, PC so in such process what uh, such situations what uh, what others uh, process we can follow to convert this dynamic disk into basic disk without uh, loss of data in the dynamic disk so if you go to partition manager and then uh, you can see the dynamic disk might be invalid uh, in case if you, if you are not able to access uh, the dynamic disk from your Windows uh, PC then it might show up uh, password invalid so in such cases you cannot take a backup of the data and then um, delete the volumes and um, again recreate it so if you have important data in your dynamic disk you might not be able to uh, access the data in any other Windows uh, machine so in such cases there are some paid softwares like uh, yeah, partition I mean disk manager etc but then uh, you need to pay for them but here is a simple open source tool which can actually take a backup of all your data uh, and then um, create the dynamic disk into basic disk so we'll uh, we'll check out this tool so this tool is called um, uh, test disk so test disk uh, is available for quite a lot of part um, OS like Windows uh, Linux uh, Mac OS X so you can you can download the version now uh, which you feel suitable so we have downloaded the windows version and now we have um, uh, this is an open source tool so you can just uh, download uh, and does not require an installation because it's just portable tool so right now we have the tool with us so we have just uh, run the tool and this is the start screen uh, for that tool so you can see test disk is a free data recovery software designed to help you recover loose partitions or make non bootable uh, disk bootable again when these symptoms are caused by faulty software so this can be not only used to convert a uh, dynamic disk into basic disk so in case your uh, master boot record is not working or you are not able to boot the hard disk because the uh, bo bo um, MBR is not working so in such cases you can this software can be of tremendous help because you can recover the data in the disk and then also convert it uh, into bootable uh, disk again and you can repair the file system as well so this is the main screen so you need to select uh, you have three options create append uh, and uh, no log so uh, for you need to select uh, create so let's press enter now you need to connect the disk which uh, you feel uh, is not working or showing as invalid uh, in your um, uh, Windows PC now it will uh, you can see all the disconnected so this is our first one is our primary uh, partition that's the Windows version so we will not touch that the second one is an external hard disk uh, Western digital external hard disk so you can see that uh, WD 640 GB external disk and the third one is the one which um, is currently having the issue so it's a 500 GB hard disk uh, so we'll uh, you can select that and click uh, proceed press enter now next step you, you need to select uh, the Intel partition so since here we are running on uh, Windows we'll select the Intel uh, PC partition so now there are few options here now we'll we'll cover the one which you can convert the basic I mean dynamic disk into basic disk and also acts as uh, copy all the data in this dynamic disk which is not accessible right now on uh, Windows PC so let's click analyze so we have selected the disk and uh, we have uh, um, got the analysis here so you can see out of the 500 GB hard disk only few drives are right now available it has six drives I mean six volumes so right now only three of them are recovered so you can uh, you can see the few options here 
primary uh, bootable primary logical extended volume deleted volume all those things are available here now you can see quick search as well as backup option now these are the um, partitions which can be recovered from this dynamic disk so out of the six you uh, we could recover only three of the partitions but uh, what you can do is since the other partitions are not recoverable you can take a backup of all the, all the data from that partition and then recreate the partition that's the best option so let's go to this option here you can see the backup option here so let's select the backup so so when you select backup it list all the partitions here so you can see system was uh, successfully recovered then virtual machines was not recovered new volume was not recovered again the second new volume was not recovered recovery partition was recovered then you have HP tool so out of the six um, volumes only three were recovered so the major ones like the virtual machines uh, new volume and uh, the second new volume these three were not recovered using this uh, option but what you can do is you can see a uh, few options here uh, load backup uh, change type uh, you can list files and enter to continue so you can see you can select list files so uh, select the volume which you want uh, to recover so select a p we'll press the p so you can see uh, right now the uh, the tool will list out all the folders uh, in this particular partition so you can see uh, that a particular drive has all these uh, files but these drives these files are not available uh, from the um, uh, windows explorer because this this disk is dynamic and uh, says it's invalid in the um, windows uh, partition manager so these files are not accessible uh, otherwise on windows but this software allows you to get uh, these files so now let's um, select one so if you if you want to recover these files you have the options here so what you need to do is so you can see a few options here let me just uh, increase the size so you can see here um, copy to selected copy the selected files copy the current file so you can select uh, this particular file so right now we have we'll select one file so we'll just uh, select this file now we can uh, press C so right now I'll press uh, C from here so this uh, this will now you can see uh, now the file is um, um, selected for copying you can see the directory here so you can see here directory is uh, j test uh, test disk 6.14 so that's the folder we are going to um, take the backup so, so instead of uh, this file you can in this folder you can also change uh, this folder here so right now we'll uh, back up into the default folder itself so that uh, we can uh, see those uh, files so right now i'll uh, you can see the option here so c is uh, when the destination is correct uh, so you can uh, press once again c uh, to copy the file selected so we have selected a folder now let so you can see here 25 files have been copied and uh, zero files failed so we'll just uh, show you this option once again so let's go to this folder then uh, we'll press c again So you can see here once again copying done to ok zero fail so this process can be used to copy all the files uh, available in this folder so i mean this drive so this drive is otherwise not accessible now what you can do is you can uh, select each drive so you can just go back to the original uh, uh, partitions list and then select all the other partitions which are not recoverable and then uh, you can um, download uh, i mean the copy these files from the hard disk uh, to a local file here so using this method you can actually back up all the data from the volumes which are not available uh, in windows explorer because they are not available because they are invalid and uh, you can um, back up uh, to your desktop then finally what you can do is uh, now you can now if you go and check the partition manager you can see this as uh, now it's a basic disk so this uh, this tool has converted this invalid uh, dynamic disk into basic disk but you can see this only three volumes which we discovered discussed the system recovery and hp tools are um, recovered instead of the the rest uh, the major three volumes are not recovered so you can see it's showing as unallocated so that means it cannot be recovered so probably some cases you can recover all the volumes and in some cases you can recover only some volumes so in case you are not able to recover all the volumes what you can do is uh, you can uh, follow the steps we mentioned below we can list all the files and copy each of the folders into a separate um, location and then what you can do is uh, you can 
uh, use uh, this un unallocated uh, space to create a simple volume and then uh, recreate all the partitions again and copy the recovered files back into this um, drive. So, that is the way you recover the fold, uh, folders and files. Uh, from the invalid um, uh, dynamic disk. So, right now we are done two, thi two things. First is to change the basic uh, dynamic disk uh, which was invalid previously into a basic disk which is right now available online and secondly we have taken a backup of all the files and folders which otherwise is not available uh, the on uh, windows uh, file explorer. So, three volumes the virtual machines a new volume as well as um, the second new volume so these three uh, together combined comes to around 447 gb so this was uh, this was not available previously so now we are taking a backup of all these volumes now we can go ahead and uh, what you can do is so you can create a new simple volume from here and recreate all this partition and then copy back uh, the recovered files from here so this is uh, this is a very easy tool uh, you don't have uh, uh, complicated screens it's very simple uh, tool uh, you, the only thing is that it's a command line tool so if you are not comfortable with command line tool just uh, read the steps mentioned in this um, process and also you can see list of commands available at the bottom so this tool is portable and it's open source tool and you can easily download this tool and then um, recreate partitions so, if you have any queries uh, with respect to this uh, video, you can uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. So, that's all uh, in uh, converting dynamic disk into basic disk and recovering the data. So, um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and finally, thanks for watching this video.